Alright guys, what is up and welcome back to Gary's Mod. Today we'll be taking a look at a very interesting mod, and it is by the one, the only, Wheatley, which is the same person who made that amazing parkour mod, and of course many, 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 many other amazing mods that we all know. This video was suggested by these amazing people down below. Thank you so much for your suggestion, now on to the video. But uh, I've done a plethora of mods on this channel that he has done, and today we're going to be continuing that trend by looking at... The Quantum Break Time Powers mod. Now you guys may or may not know Quantum Break, it's a pretty cool game, it's an exclusive on the Xbox One platform, and I've never played it myself and I don't know much about it, so I had to do a little bit of research here just to make sure I didn't look like an absolute idiot like I usually do on my videos. But regardless guys, here we are on this amazing map, and now again I've never played the game, but I figured this map looks like it goes perfect with this kind of mod. It has really cool deep colors, it has nice saturation and some really nice lighting effects, and I figured it would look really cool with all these time powers we have. So we're going to go through what you have to do. I'm actually going to link down Wheatley's video uh, on his channel to tell you how to actually use the mod properly and to install it properly, because otherwise this video will be 20 minutes long. So go check out that video down below, it'll be one of the links in the description. Go check that out and I'll be waiting. I can wait, it's okay. Alright, you're back. Well, hopefully now you know how to do it. If not, I'll go through it a little bit. So you're going to hold Q, go into options, and then you'll see Quantum Break Abilities under Player. Sorry if my webcam's in the way. It actually is in the way, so that's actually going to be a big deal. But uh, if you've seen Wheatley's video, just, just more inside of to go watch his video now. But uh, you're going to see certain things you can bind, like ability menu, you want to bind that to something, I binded it to tab, you don't have to do that, just make sure that wherever you bind it to, that it's binded to something that is not already using something, like tab for instance, usually pulls up your, uh, pretty much who's on your server, and the names of them, and the ping and everything, well, I had to unbind that for this video, but I'm going to bind it back, but that's just an example. Make sure nothing else is binded to the key before you bind it on this mod. Alright, cool, so now that we got that down with, I'm going to show you. So the first thing you'll do is open the ability menu. You do that by holding, for me at least again, for you it's different, tab. I hold tab, or whatever binded key you used, and here is the menu, and this is pretty much going to be the powers that we'll be looking through this video today. There's quite a few of them, and they're all from the game, I hope at least. Again, I've never played it, so I don't know, but I'm going to assume. But first thing, we're going to go start right from the top. We're going to go to Time Vision. You sense your enemies and dangerous objects through walls. Sweet. I can only imagine what people would do with that power. Alright guys, I have hidden combine behind this door, but have I? There's only one way to find out. So, something else you want to bind when you go back into the options menu, when you go to quick cast, you want to bind that to something, I binded it to one, but of course again, normally one is like this, where you, you, it pretty much it quick changes your weapons, it's like a hot key to change your weapons really quickly. Well, I don't do that on my one key, and I have it on my mouse just so it's easy, but I should probably say this before we do this, you want to hold the button to open up the menu again, again, minus tab. And you'll see there's two things they want you to do. There's primary attack, which is left click, to use the ability immediately. Or, if you right click it, you can bind it to your quick cast slot. So since I have my quick cast slot, I bind it to my one key. I just press right click. And now if I press one, it would use that ability. So that's pretty cool. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to do it normally. You can normally use the ability if you just press left click. For some reason though, when I press tab, it aims me down. But, uh, so what you're, what the, I don't know why it's doing that, but that's weird. Alright, so I have it binded to my quick cast, as you can see, bound to quick cast. My quick cast is one, again, yours could be different. Let's see. Oh, would you look at that. Oh, and by the way, also guys, you'll see meters on the right of the screen, and those meters are pretty much the power you have left to use those abilities. Now, I have mine set really high for the sake of this video, just so it's not annoying and boring. But as you can see, if you stand still and don't move, you can see we have three combine and two other items. Look like They look like barrels, probably explosive barrels. So if that's true, that's good information. So we can just go in and see who's in here. Hey, what's up, guys? Yup, explosive barrel. So this is good intel because then you could pretty much be right here. I see there's an explosive barrel right in there. Get a grenade ready. Toss it in, and... Death. So that works pretty well, that's actually really cool. 
I love that you can use that to get some awesome advantages over whatever you want to do in this game. That's the cool thing is that the applications for this are endless because you can use it for anything for role playing or just messing around or something or, or having fun or doing an action map or something. Who knows? But we're going to move on because this video is going to be long enough. Next one is Time Rush. You move faster than normal time does. Now to demonstrate this properly, I'm actually going to spawn a few combine. Alright, I spawned some Metro Police right here. And as you can see, they're just walking around, not doing much. Now, of course, this won't be a really good mod to showcase if they're disabled. So I'm going to re-enable the thinking. They're going to be uh, trying to come at me with these stun sticks and shooting at me. But I have an upper hand. So as you can see, the time for them is slowed, time for me is not. So to them I appear to be moving much quicker, and that gives me much more agility so I can do things like this. Throw grenades out, which of course again the grenades do go slow because everything but me is affected. And then I can re-enable it, and right when it's convenient for me, I can pretty much just do that. For instance, grenade right here, if I know that's going to explode right there, I can speed up time again, and they won't know the difference, and then boom, they got killed by a grenade. I can slow down time, get to cover, boom, look at that. I actually almost got him in the door, I actually kind of did, that's pretty cool. Oh, you know, he got me in here! Alright, well, I guess it's time to showcase the other one. Hold tab, go to time blast, cause a time disruption within medium area. We're going to bind that to our quick cast, and we're going to use it right now. So as you can see, he's like glitching like hell, that's supposed to happen, because we have literally rendered time completely unusable for him, and it, we did it so violently that it actually ripped him apart and killed him, at least that's what I'm assuming that's happening, because again, never played the game, but if, if I could guess, that's probably what I would guess. It's actually a really cool ability, I'd say it's your primary attack ability for this. As you can see, it looks very violent, <laughs> it's so cool that it does, it, it like glitches everything out, and again, it, it's meant to do that. It's meant to like warp space and time, that's that's what makes it so badass. So what about a, a, a bunch of enemies? What if we have a giant group of enemies? Well, as you can see, it kills most of them. For some reason, this one survived. I have no clue why that is, but we're going to assume that he died because that has killed him, so deal with it. Next up is Time Shield. Protect yourself from bullets and objects inside a time bubble. This one's actually really cool because it actually does affect your ammunition. I'll actually demonstrate it right here before we have guys shooting at us. Boom, there's the shield. It doesn't last long though. Or maybe you have to stay in it. Yes, if you move too far from the bubble, it does disperse early. But we're just gonna go, go here. Okay, so our bullets actually seem to go through it. That's actually really big. They do. Okay, so we're gonna spawn some combine. All right, we got some combine shooting at us. We're gonna use the ability. And look at that, guys. Well, damn. Well, unless they go up to you and smack you with their gun, then, then it doesn't protect you from that. But we're going to assume that, that they're, they're not gonna do that. They're just gonna sit here. What about grenades? Oh, it actually stops the grenade. That is cool. And it bounced back. That's really cool, actually. You could actually kill someone with that. But as you guys can see, it does work perfectly fine until they actually come right up in your face and obviously it doesn't work anymore. But if they're far away shooting you, it does stop the bullets and it has this really cool lightning effect when it does that too. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad that works. Next up, we have Time Dodge. Swiftly move in any direction. So this one's interesting because it's pretty much like a warp ability. It's really good to get out of a sticky situation or to engage into a sticky situation. So for instance, we got enemies there, they don't know we're here, boom, 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 look at that. Now you can't do it that quickly, obviously, normally, because you'd run out of gauge to do so. Maybe you can do that in the game, though. Can you do it in midair? Or is it only on the ground? It's only on the ground, okay, so you cannot, like, shoot in any direction, you can only shoot forward or left, like, you could do it backwards, too. As you can see, you can do it in all directions except for up and down, so that's fair enough. Alright guys, we have some combine out there, so we're gonna engage in them without them even knowing what happened. So I'm gonna get a grenade. I feel, you know what I feel kind of like? Oh, Jesus. I feel kind of like... I'm dead. Okay, it's not what I meant to say. I meant to say I feel like Tracer, actually, because you have that zoom ability. It's kind of similar to her ability. So go in, boom, find where they are, throw a grenade, boom, 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 boom. You're out of there. Go back in, just like Tracer with her, her time grenade. I'm stuck! And boom, you're out of there. Grenade, boom, out. Unless you get stuck like me. Okay, there we go. It seems you can kind of phase through objects a little bit. Yeah, you can kind of. 
That's actually, well, not all the time, but sometimes you can. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I really like that ability. Next up, we have Time Stop. Freeze time within a small area. So this isn't super, super OP, but it does work very well. We got this combat right here. We're going to test it on him. So we're going to use the quick cast ability. And look at that. Completely frozen in time. He can still move around, obviously, because, you know, it's Half-Life, but that's all he can do. Now, here's another thing we can do. Freeze him. Get your gun out. Shoot bullets, and it actually freezes your bullets. And then re-continues to fire them once the time actually continues back to normal. That's really, really cool, actually. So I'm really happy to see that that works. I've always wanted to do something like that in a game, so I'm glad you could do that. Now, what about... What about rockets? Do rockets work? Well, grenades work. That wasn't a good test, but rockets do work. As you can see, boom, rocket frozen. But you cannot switch your weapon because, as we all know, with the laser guided rockets, you have to wait till the rocket finally hits the target, and then you can reload or change weapons as you would normally. So that's pretty much it guys, but there's one more little thing, and of course, you guys can experiment with Wheatley's amazing, amazing, amazing menu over here. We got plenty of things to mess around with, you can make it like admin only, you can choose specific powers that will only work on specific people, you can restrict certain people for using specific powers, you really get full control if you want to use this on your own server or something like that. But there's one more thing we have left, and that's stutter. If you guys have played the game, again, I don't know if it's even in the game, but I'm going to assume it is. You guys know what stutter is. Activate it by pressing B, at least for me. Again, hold Q, go into the binding abilities, and you will see toggle stutter. Click that, choose what button you want it to be. I chose B because that's what I want it to be. Pfft, that was, that was dumb. I'm going to kill myself. All right, that was horrible, but we're going to use it now. So press B, for me at least. And welcome to stutter mode. So, its name actually does does mean what it's going to do. As you can see, every, everything does stutter a little bit. What stutter does is it completely stops all time, all geometry, all everything. Everything just stops, except for you. So we're going to do it right here. Now, of course, that might not be exactly what it's supposed to do. Again, I've never played the game, so if anyone wants to correct me, you can do so down below. But here we got a lot of combine. Well, stutter. And look at that. Time is completely frozen. I can do whatever I want. How about this? Even the grenades freeze. But they don't... Oh, they're, they're going to be so dead. What about guns? What about guns? You can still shoot them, too. But, of course, the damage doesn't fully apply. Oh, boy. You ready, guys? Yeah. Annihilated. So that's really cool, actually, guys. There's one more thing, though. There's another menu I didn't mention. Here it is. I binded mine to T. Again, go into the menu, and it's called Quick Ability Menu. I binded mine to T. You can bind yours to whichever one you want. Press T, and you'll see to the right of you, you'll see keybinds automatically assigned to all the abilities to quickly use at once. So, for instance, Time Stop. Just hold T, press 1. How about Time Dodge? Hold T and press 2. As you can see, you can use multiples of these, and it's it works really well. It's actually pretty badass. Just be careful, because you might mess up the game or something. But yeah, guys, that pretty much concludes it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is an amazing, amazing mod, and I keep forgetting, but whoever suggested this will be at the beginning. I'll actually probably cut the video and put a little thing in there, so you guys have probably already seen it. But uh, thank you guys so much for suggesting this. If you want to suggest a mod, you could do so down below in the comment section, and suggest any mod from... GTA 5, Gary's Mod, you name it, and I'll definitely get around to it. I really love doing this video, and if you loved it too, you can leave a like or subscribe. Check out my second channel down below where I do VR videos, and my Facebook and Twitter to get updates on when I do things, or just to follow me on my stupidity that is this YouTube journey. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, farewell.